Welcome back to the channel for another video today on arithmetic and how to master percentages questions on the upcoming SATS papers. The percentages questions come up in the arithmetic paper and have a total of last year's paper, as you can see from this table here, it's about 26 marks that went to fractions, decimals and percentages questions, so quite a few. So it's good to know how to solve these. These are also questions that the children in my class often ask me how to solve and they're finding it a bit tricky, but you can solve these questions in, with two very simple steps. So let's get into it. Step one would be to multiply these numbers together. So we're going to do 95 times 180. This question is asking us to find what 95% of 180 is. So we'll put 180, the big number on top, and we'll put 95 underneath. Now, long multiplication is something that children would have learned, so it's something that they should find fairly straightforward. So we're going to start by multiplying the ones. 0 times 5 is 0. 8 times 5 is 40. So we're going to put the 0 down. I'm going to carry the 4. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 4 is 9. Um, and then we're going to look at multiplying the tens. So before you multiply the tens, you put a zero down to placehold. Then we'll do zero times nine is zero. Eight times nine is 72. So we put the two down and we carry the seven. And one times nine is nine plus seven is 16. So now we're going to look at adding these two parts together. So we're going to do 0 add 0 is 0, 0 add 0 is 0, 2 and 9 make 11. So we're going to put 1 down, carry the 1. 6 and 1 is 7, and then 1 add 0 is going to be 1. 17,100. However, the second step... OK, because percentages means out of 100, what we need to do now is we actually need to divide this answer by 100. And for a lot of these questions, it's you could draw the place value chart and move the numbers two jumps to the right. However, it's a quick shock way of doing this. You can just cross out two zeros if you have two zeros here at the end of your answer, giving us a final answer of 171. Just bear in mind, though, if one of these is not a zero, you would still have to divide the whole number by 100 by moving the numbers two jumps to the right in order to solve that question. So two steps, multiply the two numbers together using long multiplication. And then the second step is to divide the answer by 100 and you get your final answer. Let's try again. So we've got 52 percent of 700. So once again, what was step one? multiply the two numbers together. So we're going to do 52 two times 700. Okay, so starting with the 1, 0 times 2 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 2 times 7 is 14. Don't forget 0 to placehold when multiplying the 10, so we'll put a 0 down. 0 times 5 is 0. 0 times 5 is 0, 7 fives are 35, now we need to add those two parts together, 0 add 0 is 0, 0 add 0 is 0, 4 add 0 is 4, 1 add 5 is 6, and then add the 3 to nothing, which is 3. So that's the first step done, what was step 2? Divide the answer by 100, where you can either move both numbers all the numbers to the right two two jumps to the right or the shortcut way which i showed you was just cross out the two zeros that are there so giving us a final answer of 364. so you can give this a go yourself now with the practice questions there are 10. Uh, pause the video here have a go at them remember the two steps multiply the numbers together and then finally divide the answer by 100. And here are your answers. So these were the answers for those questions. And um, bear in mind, these ones were quite tricky because they had decimals. They weren't just whole numbers when you worked them out. OK, but if you had done the two steps, you should have got these as your answers. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you found the video useful. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos as we come towards the SATs. 
and also check out the channel for full walkthroughs of all the papers. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.